years before he is destined to take a giant stride into history, Colonel John H. Glenn Jr. squeezes into his spacesuit. His smiling face belies the 10 postponements of his flight that have kept him grounded. This morning, the weather over Cape Canaveral and in the pickup areas is better, and there's an air of optimism as the Colonel walks to the gantry elevator, carrying his now familiar portable air conditioner. Glenn prepares to go to the 11th deck as clocks point to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The skies are beginning to lighten and a cool north wind rustles across the Cape. The Colonel's date with destiny comes 10 months after the Russians claimed an orbital flight by Yuri Gagarin and less than a year after Alan Shepard blazed a suborbital trail for the U.S. This is the climax of three years of training. This is the moment when the eyes of the world turn to Cape Canaveral. The Russian orbits were in a thick fog of secrecy. The United States stands or falls in the white-hot glare of worldwide publicity. In the capsule atop the Atlas missile, the Colonel will be strapped to a contoured couch. Once in flight, the Mercury will be tilted so that the astronaut will ride backwards. The seconds tick off as his rendezvous with space approaches. The hatch cover causes a slight delay when a defective bolt is discovered. Then, millions are moved to silent prayer. Everything is gold. The takeoff of the Atlas, blasted off by 360,000 pounds of thrust, carries the Mercury gracefully skyward. The Friendship 7, climbing rapidly out of the Earth's atmosphere, exerts a pressure of six times the force of gravity on the astronaut. Most of you have been tied up here today. You've been on the boards here and at your positions here, and you haven't seen probably much of what's been going on on TV across the country today. But it's been a national day of tragedy, I can guarantee you that. And you'll see that when you finally get out of here this evening. All America is sharing in the tragedy that you have lived through here today. We've had tremendous triumphs. We've had triumph after triumph after triumph, and that's how mankind goes ahead, to be a little philosophical for just a moment. We try, we try, we try. And in this program, we've succeeded. Really, if we're honest about it, and honest with ourselves, beyond our wildest dreams, because I would never have thought we would ever go this far without losing some people in something where you're up there traveling around at five miles a second, heat of re-entry and all the complexities and the things that have to work right. We come to a time when something happens, and we have a tragedy that goes along with our triumphs. And I guess that's the story of all men. Speed, John Glenn. Ten.
Godspeed, John Glenn. As the astronaut prepares for space flight, for adventure into outer space. Mercury Control waits and watches with the Atlas standing ready to throb into life. Ready. Friendship 7 is ready. And so is John Glenn. Glenn takes his place in Friendship 7, looking towards the unknown. Mercury Atlas is ready, and so is the astronaut. Missile power, go. RF systems, go. Propulsion, go. Mercury capsule, go. All pre-start panel lights are correct. The ready light is on. Eject Mercury umbilical. Godspeed, John Glenn. Five, four, three, two, one. of someday touching the unattainable stars. <laughs> 